Welcome to Pray Together, a series of devotional prayer videos that help you grow deeper in your friendship with God, peace with yourself, and love for one another. This is session 19 in a series called See the Story. And today we pray through Mark chapter 16, verse 1 to 8, the story of Jesus' resurrection. Stop. Take a moment to get comfortable where you are. As you do, focus on your breathing. Breathe deeply in and out. Become aware of your body and notice how you are feeling. Are you anxious, fearful or stressed? Are you hopeful, joyful or at peace? As your feelings come to the surface, acknowledge them and then gently hand them over to God one by one allowing yourself to relax with each surrendered thought. In this place of surrender, ask God to fill you with a deep awareness of his presence in this moment. Father, today we remember that there is nowhere we can go from your spirit or run from your presence. From the highest heights to the deepest depths, in the darkest night or the brightest day, at all times your hand will lead us. Yes, your strong hand will always hold us. You surround us in this moment. Meet with us, we pray. Listen. We listen to God now through two steps of immersion and reflection. Immersion involves moving past simply reading the scripture to experiencing it. We do this by imagining what it must have sounded, smelt, tasted or felt like to be there at the time. We see the characters in our mind's eye and perhaps choose to experience the story as one of them. We look carefully at what people are wearing. We listen to what they are saying and how they are saying it. We feel the ground beneath our feet, the wind over our face and the atmosphere in the air. We breathe in the smells around us and watch carefully for God's activity in it all. Reflection involves taking note of what stood out for us in this process. What moment, sound or sentence impacted us? Or perhaps it is something we experienced beyond the text. An unmentioned passerby, a shrug of the shoulder, an embrace between friends, a subtle smile, tearful eye or angry shove. How did the spirit animate our imagination to plant something deep within us? And once we are aware of these things, what might the spirit be saying to us through them? Immersion. Before reading, 
take a moment to ask God to activate your imagination. Ask Him to lead you through this story, pointing out what He wants to share with you. On the first day of the week, as the Sabbath was ending, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of Jacob, and Salome made their way to the tomb. It was very early in the morning, as the first streaks of light were beginning to be seen in the sky. They had purchased aromatic embalming spices so that they might anoint his body, and they had been asking one another, Who can roll away the heavy stone for us from the entrance of the tomb? But when they arrived, they discovered that the very large stone that had sealed the tomb was already rolled away. And as they stepped into the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right, dressed in a long white robe. The woman was startled and amazed, but the angel said to them, Don't be afraid. I know that you're here looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He isn't here. He has risen victoriously. Look, see the place where they laid him. Run and tell his disciples, even Peter, that he is risen. He has gone ahead of you into Galilee, and you will see him there just like he told you. They staggered out of the tomb, awestruck, with their minds swirling. They ran to tell the disciples, but they were so afraid and deep in wonder, they said nothing to anyone. Reflection Take a moment to reflect on what stood out for you in this reading and think about why it had an impact on you. Now ask God what He might be saying to you through these things and perhaps write down what comes to mind while you listen. Respond. We now respond to what God has spoken to us by writing down or speaking out those thoughts, emotions, or images that have been stirred up within us as a prayer. The Inward Prayer Take a moment now and speak to God about those things that He is highlighting for you and your friendship with Him. The Outward Prayer Take a moment now and speak to God about those things He is highlighting for others and the revealing of His kingdom in the world around you. Obedience. Finally, ask God if there is anything He is inviting you to do in response to your prayers today. What acts of justice, care, and compassion might be the natural outflow of this time? Then, ask the Holy Spirit for the strength to respond to this call and commit to stepping out in obedience.
Thank you for praying with me today. I hope that we will pray together again tomorrow. Until then, may you be empowered to discover the great magnitude of the astonishing love of Christ in all its dimensions. How deeply intimate, far-reaching, enduring, and inclusive it is. And may the endless, extravagant love that goes far beyond measurement and transcends all understanding pour into you until you are filled to overflowing with the fullness of God.